All the commandments which I command thee this day you shall observe to do, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land which the Lord sware unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led these, these forty years in the wilderness, to humble thee, and to prove thee, to know what was in thy heart, whether thou would keep the commandments or not. And he humbled you and suffered you to hunger and fed you with manna which you had not known, neither did your fathers know, that he might make it known that men do not live by bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. The remnant wax not old upon thee, neither did your feet swell these forty years. You shall consider in your heart that as a man chastened his son, so the Lord your God chastened you. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways and fear him. For the Lord your God bringeth you to a good land, a land of brooks, of water, of fountains and depths, springs out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, vines, fig trees, promegards of the land of olive oil and honey. A land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness, and thou shalt not, not, not lack anything. A land whose stones are iron, and out of whose, those hills thou may dig brass. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he has given you. Beware that you do not forget the Lord your God, in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command you to this day. Lest when you have eaten and art full and has built, has built goodly houses and dwelt in them, and when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied and all that is in thy has multiplied, then thine heart will be lifted up and you will forget the Lord your God which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt, the house of bondage, who led you through the great wilderness and the terrible wilderness, wherein there were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, and there was no water, who brought forth water out of the, the rock of flint, who fed you in the wilderness with manners, which your fathers did not know, and that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to thee to the good, for your good in the later end. And thou said in thine heart, My power and my might of mine hand has gotten me this wealth. But thou shalt remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, and he that establishes his covenant, which he swore unto his fathers as, as to this day. And, I shall, and it shall be that do all, and it shall be, if thou do all forget the Lord your God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that you will surely perish. As a nations which the Lord destroys before your face, so shall you perish, because you would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God.